This is a summary of Mind Your Mindset, a book by Michael Hyatt and Megan Hyatt Miller. In their latest how-to, authors Michael Hyatt and Megan Hyatt Miller offer a new stance on the teachings of self-improvement, brain science. The authors explain how the brain sometimes leads to stasis and faulty thinking, causing people to make poor decisions that keep them from realizing their potential. Drawing upon research in neuroscience, as well as their personal experiences with their clients, the authors provide actionable strategies on how to break mental log jams and rewire the brain for fresh thinking. Their clear explanations and personal examples keep the science accessible for all readers. Let's hear takeaway number one. When stories fail, a mental log jam follows. When struggling to overcome life's toughest challenges, such as financial setbacks or family crises, people's minds often hit a brick wall. Problem-solving strategies that worked well in the past suddenly fail in the present, and long-held assumptions lead to a dead end. Personal growth stalls and problems persist. Neuroscience offers insight into why this happens. Your brain contains a network of neural connections that generates memories and makes predictions for the future based on the past. These memories and predictions inform your stories or narratives. Subsequently, the stories, good and bad, determine which problem-solving strategies you deploy in a given situation. Usually, these strategies work as intended, preventing mishaps and resolving issues. But occasionally, they mislead and stifle. This happens when circumstances change, but the connections and strategies don't. Instead of creating a new, adaptive narrative, the brain falls back on an unhelpful one, and a mental logjam ensues. To get unstuck, you must examine your stories and rethink your thinking. Okay, here's the second takeaway. Fresh thinking starts with identifying your stories and creating new ones. Because the brain is hardwired to favor certainty over uncertainty and repeat familiar behaviors, recognizing faulty reasoning is a challenge. To forge new neural connections and rewire your brain, you need to change your thinking. Breaking a mental logjam to achieve positive results requires reflection and fresh perspectives. To accomplish this, first, identify both the problem and the story that goes with it. For example, author Michael Hyatt's problem was a missed team sales goal. His story was that circumstances beyond his control, interest rates, gas prices, buying trends, and so on, conspired to depress sales. Second, expose faulty storytelling by breaking down the narrative and separating facts from opinions and assumptions. Although Hyatt's reasons for missing the team sales numbers were indeed factual, his assumption that he couldn't do anything to minimize their impact was wrong. And third, recalibrate the narrative. For Hyatt, that meant looking inward at skills he controlled instead of outward at factors he couldn't change. Once he changed his thinking, the process of creating new neural connections and a new story began. Time for the next takeaway. Your mind's narrator rules your stories, for better or worse. People use concepts to understand the world around them. Concepts include concrete things such as a cup shape or abstractions like love and justice. In the brain, concepts form when synapses, connections between brain cells, link neurons together in distinct patterns. Sometimes concepts string together to reveal cause and effect relationships. When X does Y, A turns into B, for example. Based on these, the brain writes stories. The narrator then interprets the story's data and relays it as coherent thought. Narrators make sense of the world, and usually they provide helpful guidance, once bitten, twice shy, for example. Occasionally, however, the storytelling is faulty or outdated, and the narrator becomes a hindrance to growth. Okay, let's move on. Here's takeaway number four. Question seemingly objective truths to change unhelpful stories. In the brain, the hippocampus works with the neocortex to produce and activate two types of memories, episodic and semantic. Episodic memories are recordings of personal experiences. Semantic memories are recordings of facts, events, and data acquired through observation. By definition, episodic memories are subjective, while semantic memories are objective. 
Over time with reinforcement, however, the mind will turn some subjective memories into objective ones. For the narrator, these warped subjective memories become objective broad truths with the power to influence decision-making. Trouble arises when the narrator makes decisions about complex situations inspired by incorrect assumptions or flawed readings of other people's thinking. For example, for years, author Megan Hyatt Miller dreaded and avoided public speaking because her narrator, fueled by painful high school memories, had convinced her that she was terrible at it. The more her narrator fed her fears, the more she restrained herself from speaking in public. We've reached the fifth takeaway. Assumptions limit your thinking, so establish your story's facts and get rid of the fiction. When Hyatt Miller's executive job required her to make presentations, she realized she had to change her narrator's story. Her transformation began when she sought guidance from her friend Michelle Couchat, a public speaking coach. Couchat had been a sought-after motivational speaker until surgery for tongue cancer damaged her voice. Instead of giving up when her world fell apart, Couchat examined her story in light of her new reality. Inspired by Couchat's subsequent course correction, Hyatt Miller committed to interrogating her narrator and changing her story. The first step in interrogation is to establish the facts of the story. Ask yourself, which concepts are verifiably true and which ones exist only in your imagination? Is your story based on facts or on assumptions about the facts? Does the story involve biases? Do you associate emotions with the facts? If so, consider them separately. Finally, ask which facts are relevant and which are irrelevant. Once you've assembled the facts, beware of using them to make hasty conclusions. They might lead you to incorrect cause and effect interpretations. Just because you've established some new facts doesn't necessarily mean you know the whole picture. Be mindful of metaphors, which can cause you to make jumps in your thought processes. While they are occasionally helpful shortcuts, metaphors often limit perspective. All right, here's another takeaway. Trust your gut to commit to a course of change. Sometimes flipping the narrator's script requires intuitive rather than analytical thinking that will challenge an existing narrative. Author Hyatt, for instance, had a gut feeling that hosting his own trade show made better business sense than sending his team to the usual out-of-town show. Initially, Hyatt's narrator argued against the change. But after researching the relevant facts, Hyatt rolled the dice and played host. The new event was a money-saving success. His intuition paid off. Intuition is a prediction that happens unconsciously. However, it is based on the neural connections of lived experiences. When people face a problem, the subconscious mind races to find the neural connections that will provide answers. Conscious thought offers the narrator data and careful reasoning but subconscious thought triggers the narrator to make a decision. Storytelling requires both conscious and unconscious thought, and you need a balance of the two for change. The more experiences the narrator has to draw on within the problem's context, a particular profession or expertise, for example, the more reliable the unconscious thought or intuition will be. Let's continue with the seventh takeaway. Embrace uncertainty to change your response to challenges. Interrogation often leads to resistance. The mind is hardwired to maintain the status quo. In the brain, familiarity soothes, while uncertainty causes painful anxiety. Avoiding change to evade anxiety is a natural human response. Verbalizing the anxiety and imagining a worst-case scenario are two strategies you can use to help overcome this avoidance response. For Hyatt Miller, Questioning her long-held belief that she was a bad public speaker was terrifying because for years she had been turning down speaking gigs based on that assumption. But once she accepted that her story was off base, a world of possibilities opened up. Resistance to change also comes from a fear that as soon as you pull apart one deeply rooted story, other stories will collapse too, just like when you pull out bricks from a wall. However, take comfort in knowing that stories are more like webs. They can withstand the removal of a strand or two. When you embrace change, stronger concepts or strands replace old harmful concepts. Now for the eighth takeaway. 
Exchange your limited mindset for a possibility mindset. Creating new stories for positive change starts with building new neural connections and a mindset open to possibilities. Instead of excuses for inaction, the hallmark of the limited mindset, the possibility mindset focuses on positive thinking. For example, in a possibility mindset, the excuse, I don't have enough time, turns into constraints liberate more than they limit. In this scenario, the mind reconfigures the concept of time from negative to positive, and the language used to describe it is also positive. The following strategies can help you achieve a possibility mindset and forge new neural connections. First, push back against the conventional. Think outside the box by drawing upon creativity and boldness. Propose novel and seemingly ridiculous ideas while brainstorming to spark innovation and encourage openness. Second, practice divergent thinking. To view a problem through a new lens, recast your story to harmonize it with contradictory ideas. And the third strategy is adopt a beginner's mindset. Enable a re-examination of familiar concepts and processes by considering them through a novice's eyes. Okay, let's listen to the ninth takeaway. Learn from others. To change your stories and achieve positive results, seek help from experts, including coaches and teachers, as well as from books and other media. Author Hyatt Miller worked hard to rewrite her public speaking story by writing and reading aloud affirmations every day. But she understood that to make a great keynote speech, the final step in the process, she needed help from others. So over many months, she built a team of experts, including Kushat, to instruct and support her. Outside input is vital for self-improvement. Feedback from others not only speeds up learning, it also reinforces it in the brain. Calling upon diverse experts and collaborators, especially those from different cultures, will provide you with added perspectives and expose any biases and faulty assumptions you hold. External input will often trigger questions that open up new avenues for you to explore. Time for the 10th and final takeaway. To find answers and solutions, stop thinking and rest. Rest, exercise, and sleep are critical activities that aid learning, creativity, and problem solving. In the brain, neural connections consist of two networks, the executive network and the default network. The executive network controls conscious thought, while the default network operates largely in the subconscious. Critical analysis happens in the executive network, while the default network is responsible for creativity. When the two networks work together to solve a problem, a synergistic interaction occurs and aha moments happen. The creative default network kicks in when the executive network powers down. To achieve the desired synergistic interactions, allow yourself periods of rest or mental breaks. Similarly, studies show that exercise improves cognitive function producing chemicals that enhance the brain's ability to learn, recall information, and solve problems. You can also strengthen your learning and recollection abilities by getting a good night's sleep because in dreamland, the default network is at its busiest. That was a summary of Mind Your Mindset, a book by Michael Hyatt and Megan Hyatt Miller. Here's the 10 takeaways one more time. Takeaway number one, when stories fail, a mental logjam follows. Takeaway two, fresh thinking starts with identifying your stories and creating new ones. Takeaway number three, your mind's narrator rules your stories for better or worse. Takeaway four, question seemingly objective truths to change unhelpful stories. Takeaway five, assumptions limit your thinking. So establish your story's facts and get rid of the fiction. The sixth takeaway, Trust your gut to commit to a course of change. Takeaway seven, embrace uncertainty to change your response to challenges. Takeaway number eight, exchange your limited mindset for a possibility mindset. Takeaway nine, learn from others. And the final takeaway, to find answers and solutions, stop thinking and rest. <laughs>